Hello class. Today we are going to be painting our pinch pots. We um, molded these with our model magic and they've had time to dry and then we designed how we wanted to paint it. Now you might not have all the colors available to you that you used here so you'll have to improvise or try your best and maybe change your design as you're painting. Um, we are going to be using tempera cakes. Here is an example of what those look like. Um, and what you're going to need to do, it's a lot like watercolor. So I'm going to get my brush wet and then when I'm ready to paint a color, like the bottom of my vase starts with like a reddish color, I'm going to go around and around like a circle with the red. And I see there's red on my brush and I'm holding it and I'm going to start on the bottom. I don't need to paint all the bottom, just kind of if I hold it sideways just enough like that. Please don't paint all on the bottom but just enough so that way when you look at it, you don't see the white there. See that? If I need more, I'm gonna go around and around because my brush is still pretty wet. I'm trying to keep my hands clean. We don't paint on our skin, but because we're painting a sculpture, it might happen. I need a little more water. Go around and around. And painting my beautiful pinch pot. Okay, wow, all right, so my red bottom is done. It looks like I blended that from pink, or into pink, so I make sure my brush is really clean. clean. I scrub its hair back and forth, wipe, wipe, and look, there's no color on the paper towel, which means it's clean. Now I'm gonna be working with a magenta kind of color, that's the closest I have to pink. So again, get my brush wet, go around and around. And then I'm going to be painting the magenta right next to the red. So I want to see the design you came up with. Don't paint yours just like mine. I want to see your design kind of come to life on your sculpture. You can see I'm kind of rubbing the paint in. So that way it's not dripping. I don't want to make a big mess. Here we go. So I blended that more magenta kind of violet color in. Now I'm gonna clean it off and I'm gonna switch to my yellow. I'm just trying to move my tray so you can see me as I'm working. Now yellow is really, really light and I don't wanna mix other colors into it. So my brush is totally clean. And then I'm gonna go around and around in my yellow paint. And then I'm gonna paint yellow next on my pinch pot. The colors are blending a little bit together on the pot and that's okay. I just make sure my brush is clean before getting more from the tempera cake. All right, looks like green is the last color that I have. I put that upside down to dry. I don't want the colors to run. And it's green on the edge, and then I'm going to do the top and then the inside. So again, my brush is clean. Get some green. This looks like a good way to hold it so I can get the edges without getting my fingers dirty. Take your time painting your sculpture pinch pot. You guys did such a good job building these. There we go. So my sides are done and now to that top rim. So I'm going to wash my brush. I did kind of a teal design with dots on top. So what I'm going to do is get my teal. And I'm going to paint the rim. Now that I'm working on the rim, I'm going to leave it sitting so that way those sides can start to get dry. And I want kind of a lighter teal, so I'm going to really spread out the color. Okay, now my trick is I'm actually going to paint the inside and then come back to do the dots on the top because I want to give the teal a little bit of time to dry. So if you have any details that are kind of on the top, I would suggest giving that base color a little time to dry. 
So now I'm ready to use the orange to paint the inside. Again, you won't need to move your tray so much. I'm only doing that because I want it to be in the video for you. So you can see the way I go around and around with the brush. Now I kind of put one finger in here and that keeps this still. Painting my inside of my pinch pot. water. If I go like this, the color is really dark. And then if I spread it around, I get a lighter color or a lighter value of that color. Value is how light or dark a color or shade is. Okay. So the inside is orange. The rim is blue or teal. I love the contrast between those colors. Now I'm ready to add that final detail and I'm going to use that darker blue. My brush is clean. Oh, there's a little orange on there still. Scrub the hair. Wipe it. Wipe it. Looks good. Now it's wet. Go around and around that blue. And just with the tippy toes of my brush, I'm going to add those dots on top. I can make them a little bit closer together and smaller if I want. I don't have to go exactly like my design is that I colored. I can kind of change it. And artists do that all the time. They kind of change their mind sometimes. Um, when they had a plan, they maybe got a better idea or changed their idea for some reason. And that's okay to do as an artist. Now I really want to make sure I don't touch that top part because those spots could move and change, okay? At this point, you'll raise your hand to let me, don't, let me know you're done with your pinch pot and I'll give you further instructions. All right, have fun painting your pinch pot with your tempera cakes and of course, when you're done, please clean your brush. Thank you.